So like most things, Master Cam, I just ran into some really retarded shit. Uh, I'm trying to do a video to demonstrate grooving uh, as part of this uh, train people because nobody else will approach. Um, and uh, I had an issue that left me kind of baffled for like 13 minutes. And uh, so I'm starting over. So I grabbed the grooving path. I grabbed a chain. As you can see, this is my groove chain. Uh, I have a tool. I have feeds that will work. I don't need a finished spindle speed that's different. I have a RPM limiter I like. Uh, my groove shape, uh, OD. My groove rough parameters. I want a 3-2 plunge. Uh, I want a feed rate retract of 0, 0.6. I don't want to pull the insert out of the grooving tool. Uh, I want a 5% back off, or I'll probably hit something down the groove. I want a 50 thou. Stock clearance, bidirectional alternating is fine. Uh, my groove finish parameter is my first path leading in from the right. My second path leading in straight down. Uh, I'll attempt these. And uh, I want a peck groove because I want a chip break. And here's where I got screwed. Uh, the depth I want to pull is 30 thou. And uh, I want to use uh, retract moves of 6 thou to chip break. And I had absolute, you know, on, and I'll show you this. Let me see. I want to dwell on my last back. I want to dwell two revs. And so here we go. And you see it plunges into the part. Doesn't make any sense. And uh, that's one of the be the beauties of Mastercam is that they put some of these parameters in here that don't even functionally work in reality. And uh, they can hang you pretty horribly. Uh, but there's the path I was looking for. And as you can see, I've got, and the only thing that looks weird about that is that it almost looks like uh, the tool is uh, not cutting true, but I guess that's because I, I'm in a, I was in a, we a weird view that was a little cockeyed. So if you play that through, you can see that I got my pack moves, I got my finish, nothing crashed, and there's a path. And that completes this video in a way that doesn't confuse everybody. Uh, hopefully you won't, like me, run into that pet groove absolute value and and find yourself, well, this is uh, not what I put in here. Uh, and I don't, I don't know why it, uh, it did that there. Yeah, I only wanted a little, a little retract move. I don't waste a lot of time. 19.82 seconds seems a little quick for what we just did there. Um, let's just take a quick look and make sure nothing's wrong. Uh, first plunge the retract. See this this initial retract might have been screwed up. Uh, that didn't cost me the time. Uh, and then, then at that point, what I could look at is do I like these these lead-in links, um, and I don't know, on the first one I probably don't need to be, I could probably be 60 thou above the part. On the second path it kind of looks like uh, that's not an unsafe thing to do and I might want to keep it there. Yeah, it's just really weird that I'm looking at a faster cycle time. I just got to check a value quick and see uh, oh, peck on first plunge so I'm not pegging everywhere. So that's where my time was. Eh, whatever, I guess it didn't, didn't eat that much time. Anyway, hope you guys uh, learned something. This tool is kind of funky in that 
uh, sometimes it works good and sometimes it doesn't work good and you can get really uh, frustrated trying to get one bad move out of here and get it to not crash. Sometimes you're better off correcting it in, in, in Simcoe back plot. Uh, but of course there's a little bit of danger in that because you're involving a human to do something you want a computer, computer to do. Anyway, hope you guys learned something. Catch you later.